So welcome everyone. If it's your first time in this channel, my name is Anthony and today's class is called Core Focused Chair Yoga. So today we're going to do all postures involving strengthening your core, sides, front, okay, some lifting of the legs. And everything is fully seated, this is a fully seated class, so we'll be in a chair the whole time. So let's begin as usual with feet flat on the floor, hip distance apart, hands resting on your knees, spine nice and long, and let's get started. So just let your eyes softly close and press your sitting bones firmly down into the chair. Try to feel like you're rolling onto the fronts of your sitting bones a bit, like the tops of your thighs, the crease just below your buttocks, rather than pressing your tailbone down. So try not to tuck your tailbone under, but press down, slightly tilting your tailbone back, lifting your ribs, and drawing down your back, engaging the muscles below your shoulder blades. Then reach the crown of your head towards the ceiling, nice long spine, And you just begin to feel your natural breath, however that is, doesn't matter, however your body wants to breathe on its own. Let go of anything before the practice and anything for afterwards. Just bring all your attention within your body. Then bring your attention down into your abdomen. Just feeling the natural movement in your abdomen as you breathe. The sides of your abdomen, the front, just noticing where your breath goes. And try to be aware of any resistance to that expansion as you breathe. And try to consciously soften those areas. Begin to gradually deepen your breath. Prioritizing breathing down below your front ribs. Nice deep breaths. If it helps you, you can begin with a gentle constriction in your throat just so you can hear the sound of your own breathing. And allow your ribs to move, allow your chest to move as well, but prioritize down in your abdomen. Make your breath nice and long. Never forced in any way to the point where you feel that I need to take a quick breath in or out. But nice and long, slow, relaxed, bright breathing. Noticing how it takes some effort on the inhale, it needs muscular effort. But the exhale just happens on its own, just letting go, just letting the air come out. And continue just like that. Notice effort on the inhale. Exhale, just letting it come out. Continue. As best you can, try to maintain this type of breathing throughout the practice. In through your nose and out through your nose as much as possible. Remember belly, ribs, and chest. Try to have a nice full breath, long breaths, and always move with your breath. Right? If mine's a little faster, a little slower, it doesn't matter. Move with your body, your breath. Okay? So bring your hands resting on your knees if they're not already. Lift your chest, draw down your back. And for this first movement, this first exercise, it's just, it's just done without moving the body. Okay? So with your breath, on your natural exhale, when you come to a full exhale, draw the space below your navel and towards your spine. And draw your navel in towards the back of your body. Try to feel that engagement that that causes of your abdomen and hold that as long as you comfortably can. 
Still breathe above your navel if you need. But drawing that space in, drawing your navel in towards your spine and feeling the abdomen contract. And then release. It's okay if it's just pulling it in and letting go. With your exhale, draw the navel in towards your spine and feel your abdomen engaging, right? Deep abdominal muscles and release. You can hold as long as comfortable. Exhale, draw the navel in towards your spine. Keep drawing in, drawing in. Try to relax the upper body, just using the muscles in the abdomen. Deep muscles, try to feel that contraction, and then release. And continue just like that, drawing in. If you need a break, feel free to take a break. The deep muscles we don't, may not be using very much, okay? So they might be a little sore. You might even feel cramping if you don't, if you don't engage those muscles a lot. And release. Draw in, exhale. Hold, draw in, draw in. And release. One more time. Exhale, draw in. Hold, hold. You can breathe still above your navel. Draw in. Feel the deep muscles engaging. And release. Okay. That's the first one. Then inhale. Reach your arms out at the sides. Palms facing up at shoulder height. Lift your chest. Drop your head back a bit, lifting from your heart. If you feel anything in the low back, you've gone too far. Lift your front ribs. Exhale, cross your arms. Either way is fine. Hands to arms or shoulders, round your back. Draw your shoulder blades away from your spine, just rounding your upper back, right? Spreading around your ribs. Inhale, arms out at shoulder height, palms facing up. Lift your chest, really keep your core engaged. Exhale, cross your arms the opposite way. Hands to arms or shoulders, round your back, drop your elbows down, spread your shoulder blades apart. Try to keep the abdomen engaged, just moving in the upper body. Inhale, arms out at shoulder height, lift your chest, draw down your back. Exhale, cross your arms the other way. Hands to arms or shoulders, just rounding the upper back, spreading the shoulder blades, relaxing your neck. Inhale, out. Keep drawing in below your navel, engaging your core. Exhale, cross the arms the other way. Fold down, roll round your back. Two more times. Inhale, up. Exhale, cross and round. Inhale, open out. Exhale, cross and round. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Hands can come down to ground on sides of feet, elbows on knees if that feels better for you. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale to your heart. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten the back. Elbows can come to knees if you like. Exhale, down. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale to your heart. Have a strong core this whole time, right? Try to feel this very engaged, very strong. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, fold forward. No discomfort in the low back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, hands to heart. Have your feet about hip distance apart, still feet flat on the floor. And bring your forearms to rest on your knees. So your elbows are, there's a, your knees are about halfway up the forearms. Okay? Hands can be relaxing down like this, or if it feels comfortable, you can, you can slide your hands in so the wrists are resting on your knees. 
Okay? But have yourself supported on your thighs, on your forearms. Lift your chest, draw down your back, right? Don't let yourself slouch and roll over. Don't let your shoulders come up towards your ears, but draw down your back, right? Active body, draw down and engage below your shoulder blades. With your inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, come to a neutral spine, flat back. Inhale, lift your chest, slightly arching your back, really engaging below your shoulder blades. And exhale down. Inhale, lift, engage your shoulder blades, right below your shoulder blades. Feel the muscles drawing down your back, engaging. And exhale, come to a flat spine. Then we're gonna twist with this. Most importantly, make sure this doesn't come from your neck. It's not twisting your neck like this, okay? It's moving from your middle back. So my head stays in line with my body, right? Same with my chest. And as I rotate, I inhale, lift my chest, and rotate, draw down my back. See, so the head can rotate, but try not to make the movement just with the head. Focus on the middle back muscles, so engage your left shoulder blade, just below your left shoulder blade. And exhale, come to center. Inhale, lift your chest, draw down your right shoulder blade, engage below your right shoulder blade and rotate gently towards your right. Exhale to center. Keeping the weight resting on the elbows. Inhale, rotate towards your left. Exhale down. So you're not compressing your abdomen, you're just engaging below your shoulder blades and rotating a bit in that direction. So you can engage below your shoulder blade, that's the point. Try not to rotate like this and twist your abdomen because we wouldn't be inhaling them, we would be exhaling, right? And also try not to just use your neck. Now let's do it with the breath. Inhale, draw your left shoulder blade down your back, gently rotate towards your left, really feel your back muscles engage, and exhale forward. Inhale, draw your right shoulder blade down your back, really feel your back muscles engage, and exhale forward. Inhale, draw down your back. Feel like you're drawing your elbow in towards your body, if that helps. And exhale down. Inhale, rotate towards your right. Draw down your back. Draw your elbow in, if that helps you engage. And exhale down. One more time in each direction. Really engage below your shoulder blade. Feel the middle back muscles engaging. And inhale to center, draw both shoulder blades down your back, lift your chest, draw your elbows in towards your body a bit. So you feel the engagement, hold, breathe, and exhale, fold forward. Take a few breaths here, relaxing the back of your neck, lengthening those muscles we were just engaging and using. And inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Flatten the back or elbows to knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale to your heart. Inhale, bring your torso up, right? Lift your chest, draw down your back again. Press your seat firmly down and draw in below your navel a bit so you feel your abdomen engaged, right? Using your core for this. Bring your hands by your sides and just have your hands resting by the sides. Now exhale, bend towards your right. This is very important that you don't lean over to the right, see? I'm not leaning out of my chair where my left sitting bone lifts off the, off the chair. Okay, so left sitting bone stays firmly planted down and it's just, okay, I didn't have to smack it like that, I guess. <laughs> left sitting bone stays firmly planted down. Exhale, reach your right fingers towards the ground, but only do it so much as you can where you're lengthening between your hips and ribs, not lifting off the, any weight off of the, out of the seat. And really engage the right side of your abdomen. Draw down, draw your arm into your body as you reach down. Lift your chest still, engaging the side of your abdomen, 
really draw down like you're reaching your armpit down towards your hip. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reach your left hand down towards the ground, drawing your bicep in towards your body a bit, like you're reaching your armpit down towards your hip, really engaging the muscles on the side of your abdomen here. Inhale up. Exhale down. Try to keep your abdomen, your torso upright. Inhale. Exhale, left side. Drawing down. Inhale. Exhale, right. Like you're lifting your hip towards your armpit and pressing your armpit towards your hip, right? Like you're bringing both and towards each other, engaging. Inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale, exhale, left. You can add side bends to this if you want to. You reach your arm up towards the ceiling so you feel the side of the body lengthening. But again, try not to lean over to the side if you choose to do that. Focus still on reaching down, right? reaching your hip up. Focus on lengthening more than bending. So when you bend, try not to go over to the side, but focus on lengthening, reaching up towards the ceiling. And try to keep the attention on the engagement on the side of the abdomen. Let's do one more each side. Inhale, bring both hands together. Exhale, hands to your heart. And then slide to the front of your chair. So again, you have your seat firmly planted on the chair, but enough that you feel like you can push weight into your feet. Okay. So bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen your spine. And exhale, shift your weight forward onto the fronts of your sitting bones so until you feel the weight shift into your feet. You feel the thighs engage, right? So feel the tops of your thighs engage, muscles above your knees, backs of your thighs here. Okay. Excuse me, tops of your thighs here. Inhale, lift your chest, draw down your back again, engaging your abdomen. So draw in a bit below your navel. Try to feel your abdomen engage. Press down firmly into your feet. Right, so this can be passive if you, if you don't shift the weight forward, if you just sit up and put your weight in your seat. But we want it active. So draw in below your navel. Draw your abdomen towards your spine a little bit. I'm not sucking the belly in, but just so you feel it engage. And then lean forward. Use your abdomen to hold your body upright. Right? Use your core, so even the back of your body, sides of your body, lengthen your spine, and let your weight be down in your feet. So really press into your feet so you feel your thighs engaged. Your tops of thighs should be hard, engaged. Okay? Breathing here. With our breath, inhale, bring your torso upright, everything from your core. Exhale, come forward. Shift the weight to the feet, feel the thighs engage. Inhale, upright. Make sure that the bending comes from the below your buttocks. Exhale forward until you feel the tops of thighs engage. Inhale upright. Exhale, shift forward until you feel the thighs engage. Inhale up. Exhale forward and we'll hold this time. So find a place where you feel the thighs engaged. You feel your core engaged, right? The sides and back as well. So lifting and drawing down your back, engaging below your shoulder blades. Breathe. Right in your feet, try to be aware of which side of your feet you tend to press down more. Right, so everything from the feet relates up to the rest of the body. So try to be aware of these little imbalances, right? Do you press down the pad of your big toe more strongly on one foot than on the other? Do you press down the pad of your little toe on one foot stronger than the other? Do you tend to let your knee go out to the side on one side? Do you tend to put more weight on one side of the foot than the other or front and back, opposite on the feet? Try to be aware of these things as you're practicing, right? And then trying to even those out, trying to be aware of how they relate to the rest of the body right to your knees, your hips. Inhale, slowly come up and sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the hands up, palms together. Exhale, hands to the heart and bring your feet wide angle. So feet are wider than the legs of the chair, toes are pointing out towards the sides of it. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, begin circling from your hips. So forward with your exhale, upright with your inhale. Either way is fine, we'll circle both ways. Just focus on moving from, again, the part of the seat on the ground. So not your low back, not your sacrum area. Try to keep your back as flat as you comfortably can and move from your sitting bones. So again, like you're pressing the fronts of your sitting bones into the chair. You can let some weight shift to the feet as you're coming to the sides, but try to keep the weight in your seat and focus on stretching from your hips. Right, deepening the hip creases as you come forward and then reverse direction, circling the other way. Exhale forward, inhale upright. Don't forget your breath, so most important part of the practice, in my opinion anyway. Right, the breath's a bridge between the mind and the body, so great. And so a lot of the breathing practices, right, even if you just practice for the physical benefit, nothing wrong with that. But the breathing is also very important for that, right? Our mind controls everything, right? So everything starts in the mind. It's unbelievable some of the stories you hear, right? The mind can heal the body for people. Inhale, come up, right? And then walk your feet back together about hip distance apart. Inhale. Exhale, draw your left knee towards your body and bring your hands around your knee. Draw in as high as is comfortable for you, but try to keep pressing your seat down, drawing your abdomen in so you feel your core engaged, okay? Try not to round the back and sink down, okay? But stay upright, strong. Then bring your foot down so you can have your hand supporting the leg as you come down, or you can let go and use your abdomen more, okay? Inhale, hands around your right leg. Exhale, draw the knee in. Again, inhale, let go. You can guide the leg down or let go and use your abdomen. Okay? Inhale, hands around left knee. Exhale, draw the knee in. Inhale. Exhale, right knee in. Okay, so move with your own breath. Continue alternating sides. Again, try to make the movements controlled, right? So most useful for daily life, isn't it? To have controlled movements, right? So you can stop at any point throughout the movement and hold, right? That kind of strength is much more useful for daily life than drawing up and dropping away. Right? <laughs> Exhale in, right? So everything as controlled as possible. You can even guide the leg, so just guide the leg if you need, but have, still have a control. Try to build up the balance and the strength to control that. And last time. Inhale, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale, fold over your legs, and this time we're going to hold here. So relax the back of your neck, relax the space between your shoulder blades. Try to feel the sensation of the breath moving in the back of your body, slowing down now, lengthening your breath. And inhale, come all the way up, palms together. Exhale, hands to your heart, and slide to the back of the chair. Time for relaxation, Shavasana. So bring your feet out. They could be slid out a bit, you know, feet flat on the floor, hands resting on the knees. You can have hands in your lap like this. Make yourself as comfortable as you can. And let your eyes softly close. And let all your weight sink down into the seat. Let the chair completely support you. Let your back rest against the chair.
and just feel your body breathing naturally, however that is. Let go of the belly breathing or the three-part breath using your belly, ribs, and chest. Just let wherever the breath goes be where your body's breathing, however it wants to breathe. It can be shallow, deep, doesn't matter. But let it be effortless and natural. Just focus on that natural sensation of expansion and contraction wherever that happens in your body, in your abdomen, in your chest, doesn't matter. And just keep your attention on that natural movement, expansion and contraction. I'm going to play a magical song for you. If you'd like to rest in the vibration a bit longer, feel free. Otherwise, slowly beginning to deepen your breath as you feel ready. And if you feel ready to move, making small movements with hands and feet. Waking your body up. And if you feel ready to, opening the eyes. So thank you all for practicing with me today. And if you have any classes you'd like to see, anything you're working on, flexibility-wise, strength-wise, and breath-wise, meditation, let me know. And I'll be happy to see if I can fit that in somewhere. So until next time, happy practicing and take care. See you then.